Hey Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. Today, guys, we're talking about Batman issue number six. Really cool cover here as we get to see Batman uh, chasing Gotham Girl here. It like, looks like Batman has gone mad. Um, this book is written by Tom King and the artwork uh, this time around is done by Ivan Rice. Uh, the artwork is, I don't think, as nice as uh, David Finch's artwork on this series, but it's still really well done. I thought uh, Gotham Girl looks really well done in this issue. Uh, she cuts her hair, uh, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, here we get to see a close-up of her. And uh, I think the action scenes are pretty good. Um, but I thought that at times... Uh, Bruce didn't look maybe the way he should. I don't know. Maybe I've just gotten used to the facial expressions that David Finch actually uh, draws when it comes to Batman. Cool and interesting characters in this book. There's a character called Kite Man in here, which I thought was awesome. So this is another really neat thing that uh, Tom King is doing. He's, he's being creative. He's can't, coming up with new characters, even if they're second rate characters or they end the book for very short. I think it was very neat, and very creative here. Uh, but yeah, pretty good looking book. So what happened in this story this time and round? Let's recap it and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So in the last issue, we wound up seeing Claire Gotham girl. She had to take out her own brother. He was just going absolutely psycho thanks to Psycho Pirate, and, and she was forced to put him down. Now, in this issue, we deal with the ramifications of that. Now, when I read this book, I was thinking more of like an origin tale with Gotham Girl, or maybe some flashbacks with her brother, but this wasn't the case. This really was the aftermath of her dealing with her brother's death. And then, nevertheless, it wasn't an emotional type of issue. Uh, she goes through some crazy stages in her life already. Uh, she's sitting there, she's constantly talking to her brother, and I feel like she doesn't really know how to deal with the situation. She's been with her brother her entire life. So she talks to him, acting like he's around. Uh, she shaves her head. And then what you see her do in this issue is that she's constantly going out on the town and Gotham and trying to fight crime. And uh, she pretends, well, she doesn't pretend, but she kind of acts like her brother's with her the entire time. This alarms Duke as he sits there and tells Batman, he's like, she's slowly killing herself. She's, you know, using her powers and it's, it's taking away her life because that's how their powers work. The more power you use, the less life you eventually have. And then it comes to a point where you're going to actually die. So as we get to see Gotham Girl go out on Gotham and, you know, try to save the city and whatnot, uh, we get to see that, you know, she's losing it. She's in complete pain. She just doesn't know how to deal with the situation. And as she's dealing with this, you know, this villain or whatnot, uh, Batman comes to her side and, and tries to help her out. And uh, it was a very emotional issue just for the pure reason is that, um, Batman dealt with his life, you know, a loss of life. He dealt with his mother and his father uh, being lost. And uh, he can kind of relate here uh, to Claire because uh, he sits there and he tries to be all serious with her. But then when it came down to it, he just sits there and says, you know what? Gotham, well, Claire, my name's Bruce Wayne. And I've kind of been through what you went through. And he feels for her. And this is one of those few times where you've seen actually Bruce Wayne actually break down, pull off the cowl and the cape, and just be himself. And he gives her a hug, and she just doesn't know how to cope with things. So it's a real emotional type of issue. Now, at the end of the book, we wind up seeing uh, Bruce goes to Amanda Waller, and we wind up seeing that... Uh, uh, Bane is involved in the whole situation and whatnot and and the whole thing uh, with Psycho Pirate. So it looks like Batman is going to have to go into this uh, deep mission uh, to cure Claire. So uh, that was the end of the issue. 
So what did I think about this book? I, you know, I thought it was a good book. I, I was thinking that it would be something a little bit different with maybe going through some flashbacks with Claire and how she became the hero that she is. But when you flip, flip, you know, sides here and look at the story, I thought it was emotional. It was good to see her deal with the loss of her brother because obviously the loss of any relative or loved one is very hard and you can see that it took this huge emotional toll on her. And It was nice to see Bruce scale it back a little bit, not be Batman and be Bruce Wayne and that he could relate to her and all she needed was some loving because she has lost everything. She lost her mother, she lost her father, now she lost her brother and now it looks like the new family that she has is going to be Bruce and Duke. So, uh, really good issue. Uh, you know, it kind of threw me for a loop at the end and the last page. I almost didn't feel like it was necessary to throw in Amanda Waller in there and go right to the next issue. It may have been, would have been good just to kind of, uh, just sit there and end it with the hug and then touch on the mission going forward uh, here. But besides that, I thought it was a really good book. I'm going to give this one a four and a quarter out of five stars. Guys, tell me in the comments below of what you thought of Batman issue number six. Did you like it as much as I have? And are you enjoying this run of Batman? So guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. Bye.